What's up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. And first off, I do want to apologize for going off like I did last night in that live stream. But I had reason to. You see, I didn't see the comments until this morning. From what everybody was saying, all the shit that you guys were talking. And a lot of people don't understand how I was born or any of that. So I'm going to be explaining all of that to you guys. You see, when I was born, as I said last night, I was born on one pound, 10 ounces with one kidney and one and a half lungs. And the reason why they couldn't do a transplant last when I was born was because my skin was so thin and so translucent, you touch it, it would fucking tear. I had to be in an incubator for six fucking months. Six months I had to be in an incubator just so my skin and everything would turn out all right. And then after that, after I had all those fucking tubes in my head, which if you guys look, I still have the scars from to this very day. All those little lumps that you guys are seeing like right there and there. Those aren't scratch marks. Those are fucking scars. Right there, like right in here. You guys see all these fucking scars. Those are from when they had the tubes in my fucking head. I had to have tubes in my head. Because I was so tiny. Because I literally had to be put in saran wrap. That's how thin my skin was. You would touch, like, my mom couldn't even touch my skin. Or it would fucking tear. And when I finally came out last night about how I was born. And the shit that I've dealt with every day of my life because of it. I got a bunch of motherfuckers talking shit when I sat down and I finally came out about my life and explained everything. I sat down, I explained everything about what I fucking deal with, about how my life has been since I was born and what I ultimately deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And let me read some of these comments to you guys. Like some of these comments are beyond, you know, screwed up. Like. This one right here from Devin Marlowe. I'm going to throw a brick at this nigga. Marvin, or not Marvin, um, like, like, today, like, Chief Keep, this dude right here. What did you do today to try and improve your situation? Or right here, another one from him. You love to play this victim role, don't you? Or like, I'm not sure what in the hell this one is. Or like he, like, let's see, um, you are already judging us and saying we don't have to sh have struggles like you. And it's true. You guys that sat there and talked crap to me last night, you guys don't know the struggles that I deal with. You don't know what it's like to be born with one kidney and one and a half lungs and wondering if that day is going to be your last day. Like, you don't know what it's like to live my life. So, where do you guys think you get the right to fucking judge me? Where do you guys feel like you get to sit there and tell me what I should and shouldn't do? See, y'all sit there saying that you guys are trying to help me, but you're not. You guys just showed your true colors last night when I finally came out and I spoke about what my life is really fucking like every fucking day of my life. You guys don't know how appalled I am by these fucked up comments. They are bullshit. 
See, you guys sit there and say that I'm playing a victim card, but it's because I am the fucking victim. I'm a victim of, you know, almost dying at birth. I'm a victim of a lot of shit that a lot of people don't know or even understand what it's like. See, people sit there and they talk shit saying that, oh, you know, you should get a real job, but you guys don't know what my home life is like. You don't know what it's like to have to sit there and take care of your mom who was hit by a car two years ago who can barely fucking work as is. You don't know what it's like to be bullied because of your fucking size. You don't know what it's like to have to sit there and watch your brother die for almost seven fucking years due to cancer. You don't know what it's like to have to go to sleep at night wondering if you're going to wake up the next day or not. You guys that sat there and commented that fucked up shit last night, you don't know what it's like to be me. You don't know the struggles that I fucking deal with daily. There are times where it's hard for me to even get up out of bed physically. Sometimes I physically cannot get out of bed. But yet, I force myself to do it. I get up every fucking day. You don't know what it's like to put in application after application at fucking jobs trying to get a regular job. You don't know what the fuck I deal with. All the rejections that I deal with from not only record labels, but from jobs. You don't know what it's like to have to fight to try to get back on the disability when they won't fucking take you because you supposedly don't qualify when you do. So for you motherfuckers out there that sat there and commented that fucked up shit last night, y'all can go the fuck to hell. I don't need stupid ass motherfuckers like you telling me how to live my fucking life. You don't know how disgusted I was reading those comments this morning. You guys don't see the struggles that I face day in and day out, trying to live, trying to survive, trying to find ways to make money for my family since I don't have the luxury of working a regular nine to five job. I don't have that luxury and a lot of motherfuckers don't seem to get that. See, while you guys out there that commented that shit, and while you guys are out there working a nine to five job, I'm sitting here struggling to try to get a fucking job. While you guys are out there working a nine to five job, I'm here at home taking care of my mom, helping her do shit that she normally would be able to do around the house, but can't anymore due to being hit by a car. See, taking care of people is all I fucking know. That's all I've known my entire life. I had to help my mom take care of my grandparents who were deaf before they passed away in 08. And then, or actually no, it was actually before that. It was like 2001 when they passed. But then, in 08, I had to help my mom take care of my brother. Because he had gotten cancer a little bit, but we were able to manage it up until about 2015 when he passed away. You guys don't know what it's like to have to deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't have the luxury of having a regular fucking job. So I make do with what I can by trying to make money doing my music and trying to find a job doing photography part-time. Because that shit I can do. That type of stuff I can do. You guys don't know what it's like to have to struggle day in and day out, wondering if you're even going to live to see the next day or not. I was on a fucking oxygen tank 
from the day I was six months old to the day I was almost five. I'm lucky to even be alive. I shouldn't be alive right now, but I am. Every motherfucking doctor in that fucking hospital said I wouldn't survive, except for one that actually believed in me, who's actually my godmother. Only her and my mom believed in me surviving. And here I am, 28 years later, and I'm living. And believe me, I don't take a single fucking day for granted. See, I can't play regular sports either. I can't go out and, you know, play football or soccer or any of that. The most I can do is gaming. That's the most I can do, or even baseball. But I tried getting into baseball when I was younger, but we couldn't afford the camps. So I had to quit. I wasn't able to do it anymore. So what did I turn to? Doing my music and doing my gaming. And I get people tell me every day, especially since I beat Vaughn Gettin Jr., one of the top world drift racers, one of the top formula drift racers in the fucking world, in a live rally event the other day. People are always telling me I need to be sponsored because of that. Well, guess what? I don't get the luxury of getting sponsored. Why? Because I don't have 100,000 subscribers. As fucked up as it is, that's the truth of it. Unless I have that 100,000 subscriber count, I go nowhere with gaming. And unless I actually get a label that is actually willing to pay me on the fucking spot for my music, I go nowhere. I can't even perform shows here in Akron at venues that I would like to perform at because motherfucking Eric Scrubble decided to run his fucking bitch mouth behind my back and told these venues that I'm not good business. When in reality, he's the motherfucker that's not good business. I don't have the luxury of playing at venues because of this asshole. I don't have the luxury of going out and, you know, doing what I really want to do with my life. Y'all want to know what I really want to do with my life? Honestly, the music was not in my cards. That's not what I plan to do. What I plan to do was graduate high school and go into racing school. That was my plan. I had a plan to do that, but I couldn't. Why? Because my fucking idiotic principal was a fucking racist bitch, and I was not able to graduate even though I had all my fucking credits. I never got the luxury of walking. I never got the opportunity to walk the stage with the rest of my class. I never got to go to college. As a matter of fact, the guy that I had talked to for college was actually a race instructor, and I had just gotten my acceptance letter that day before. So what did I have to do? I had to call him back and tell him I couldn't do it. All because of the fact I didn't graduate. And around here, you have to pay to be able to get your GED, which sucks. Yeah, back when I first, you know, was not able to graduate back in like 2012, you didn't have to, but all that's changed. So you see, really the only thing I have to rely on right now is my gaming, is my skill behind the wheel in racing style gaming. That's all I got, that and my music. That's all I fucking got. I don't have the luxury of working a nine to five job. I really don't. And unless I can either get these motherfuckers off my backs and stop stealing my shit, I could 
try to make money selling my artwork. Because as you guys know, I do a lot of artwork. I grew up doing that as a kid. It's in my fucking blood. Literally, it is in my blood. My great-grandmother drew. She was actually a really, well, not like a super famous author, but she was an author and actually self-published her own books and actually did all the artwork for them. And I've read all her books. I'm a huge fan. Several people of my family draw. My older sister draws. You know, several members of my family do draw, and that talent ultimately fell to me. But what do I get for doing my digital artwork? Motherfuckers that want to sit there and steal it. Which is why I don't post up my best artwork anymore. It's because of that shit. Because I would rather avoid being stolen from than to look like a bad guy when I steal my own work back. Matter of fact, let me do something for you guys. Let me show my door because I do have a little bit of, I don't want to say soundproofing. It's like makeshift soundproofing. I actually took a pair of overalls and stuffed them underneath. So let me show my door real quick and show you just what I'm able to do skill-wise. Now, first I'm going to do a regular piano style cover on keyboard. As you guys can see right here, I'm going to do a regular cover that I normally do on here. So I'm going to pull up my presets. And if you guys want to know what I'm using, I'm actually using FL Studios 20. Which is free to download. Let's see. Here we go. How do you say that? What could ever convey everything she is?
Now, let me show you guys what I can do vocally. This is Heart of Fire by Black Bell Brides. Metal style, motherfuckers. Now, how many people do you know that can do that successfully the way that I just pulled off? As I said, I've got plenty of talent, plenty, but nowhere to go with it. I have nowhere to go with it because of all this shit. So y'all still want to sit there and say I'm playing the pity party? No, nah, motherfuckers, I'm not. 
I'm really not. Like I said, y'all can sit there and judge me, say whatever you want. But at the end of the day, you motherfuckers that made those fucked up comments on my live stream from last night, y'all can go fuck off. Because I'm tired of being victimized by you assholes because of you not wanting to understand my situation. You guys don't understand how much courage it took for me to come out about all that. And you know, this is exactly why I don't hardly come out about this shit that I deal with. Because of judgmental fucking assholes like you guys. You know, y'all sit there and say that I'm playing the victim card, that I love to play the victim card, but that's not it. I'm not trying to play victim or anything like that. I'm really not. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get you guys to be understanding about my situation, about what I deal with. But yeah, what do I get for all of that? You know, what do I get for coming out about everything that I go through? You know what I get? I get bashed on, victimized, torn down because of people like you guys that want to sit there and run your mouths about me talking shit. You know, you guys can sit there and say that I'm playing the victim card or this or that or whatever. Like, y'all can sit there and say what you want. But at the end of the day, I'm not playing any victim card. I'm not trying to make you guys feel sorry for me. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get you guys to fucking understand just what it's like to be me. Just what it's like for me to deal with all these struggles that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes, we all have our own set of struggles. Yes, we all deal with shit. But you guys just obviously don't understand what the fuck I've been through. And how it's affected me all these years. And how it still affects me to this day. Like I said, unless I get an actual well-established label that's willing to pay me for my work and not make me pay them to be signed on, or unless I hit 100,000 subs, I go nowhere. I go absolutely nowhere. Like I said, I'm not sitting idly by every day, not doing a damn thing. I'm actually putting out effort. I'm actually busting my ass trying to do something with my life. But what do I get in return for all that? I get nothing. I get bashed on and bullied. That's what I get for my efforts. And that's not right.
you guys don't understand. Those of you that bashed on me last night, you guys just don't understand how appalled I am and how, oh, like, I can't even, like, I, I can't even, like, it's, it's fucked up. Let me tell you something. When I saw those comments this morning, I almost broke down because I fucked up what you guys said was. And to those of you that saw those comments, I do apologize to you guys for that. I really do. I apologize 110%. I'm sorry that you guys had to see that shit. But like I said, I do put forth effort every day. Shout out to Jeremiah. What's good, man? But if you guys would like to read the comments for yourselves, not on this post, but the one before this from last night, if you go in the comments, you guys will see just how fucked up some of the comments are. <sighs> to be honest, man, not that good. And if you want to know why, dude, message me and I will send you the link to the post from last night that everybody decided to fucking basically bash on me on. When I finally had the courage to come out about how I was born and what I've dealt with every single day of my life since then and how it's affected me now. Yo, shout out to Aaron. What's good, man? How you doing, bud? And there is one question that I do want to answer. Then I've been getting asked a lot. Well, the interviews, I don't mind. I actually enjoy the interviews because that does give people an insight on, you know, what I'm able to do. Right? And in a way, I kind of am too, which is why I've been putting most of my focus into racing style gaming. As a matter of fact, with me actually beating, you know, the form, the one of the world's top Formula Drift drivers, Vaughn Gittin Jr., in a rally race on a live event that was actually streamed live not that long ago. Actually, it was like the other day. After I beat him, like, and I actually got the recording of it. I've got it recorded and uploaded onto my YouTube channel. People keep asking me, why are you not sponsored? You just beat one of the world's top drivers. Like, how are you not sponsored? And the answer to that is because I don't have 100,000 subscribers or a silver play button to be able to accept sponsorships that will pay me for my work. And I, um, I try to upload daily. I really do. I try to do that daily. But people don't realize that it's a lot harder to get 100,000 subs than you guys think. It took me and my little brother Ian on Bloodshot Records getting up to 200. It took us about two years to get up to 200. Imagine what 100,000 subscribers, how long that's going to take. And we're just barely past 200. We're at like 209 right now. Like, it's very hard getting up to that 100,000 mark, which if you guys don't know, I actually did start a petition actually not that long ago trying to get YouTube to put in place a bronze play button for smaller channels and giving us smaller channels who are struggling a fair shot and, 
it's still up in the air. You know, if you guys want to help out that, that'd be great. But, you know, it is what it is. And there's been a lot of YouTubers that have been saying the same thing. You know, make a bronze play button. You know, make a bronze play button for small subs. You know, small YouTube channels that are really good at what they do. People just don't understand, like those that are on those that work for YouTube, those guys just really don't get how hard it is being a small channel, how hard it is to actually get up there. Like, it's not as simple as people think. Dude, congrats, man. That's fucking dope. Which, you know, and that's why I say they need to make a bronze play button for smaller channels who actually work hard at what they do. And for those of you that are wondering, yes, I'm bringing back DK Customs full time. So, because like I know a lot of you guys wondered about the DK Customs channel. As a matter of fact, let me let me touch on that real quick. I know a lot of people are wondering what happened and why I got rid of it. It was actually because of the fact that there was a lot of drama on that channel, not like comment wise. But, like, you know, just bad history, my ex Tiffany, all that shit, commenting and talking crap. So, like, I genuinely had to delete it and restart. But I am bringing it back. Oh, it's more Xbox video based. Like, I'm not going to do like any like massive, you know, gameplay or anything like that. I'm not going to do like, you know, a lot of them do. I am going to make really cool videos though of races that I do and shit like that. So, I mean, I am going to try to post more daily on there. Like, now that, you know, I'm not too into the music scene, I'm more or less behind the scenes with producing instrumentals and beats and stuff. So, like, you know, I will be focusing more on my gaming channel. Um, like I said, I do have sponsors that would like to sponsor me, but I'm not allowed to accept them due to YouTube's analytics and their policies of me having to have 100,000 subs and a silver play button just to accept those paying sponsors. And one of the people that actually contacted me was actually the race company, Flying Wizard. They actually offered to put me in the race school because of how well I was doing on simulation style. But unless I have a steering wheel set up and I have 100,000 subs, there's no way I can improve. There's no way I can actually do anything. Which is why ultimately I've been turning to, you know, trying to resell some of my art, trying to do that again. Uh, trying to sell beads, 10 packs of beads or one bead for like $10. And just, it's it's hard. A lot of people think it's so easy, but it's not. Like, it's not easy doing what I do. Hell, I've even tried, if you guys go onto my, onto my profile and you guys go underneath my photos, and look up photography and photography art. I've been doing a lot of photography and people keep asking me, why are you not making money doing it? It's hard doing it. It's hard doing photography because all the people that want to do it either live out of state or they think I overcharge. And all I charge is 30 bucks for a full hour. That's it. A full hour for $30. A full hour photo shoot you guys come down here or I go where you guys are at in Akron and we go from there. So like I said, that part's not my fault. I can't control where everybody's at. But, you know, point is I do put myself out there. I do put forth effort. So for all y'all that sit there and say otherwise, for all y'all that sit there and say that I'm playing the victim card, y'all can go fuck yourselves. 
But for those of y'all that have been showing support, much love to y'all dudes, man. Fucking love y'all. But uh, if you guys do live in the Akron area and you are looking for a photographer, or if you, or even if you have a way down here to Akron, Ohio, let me know if you guys need a photographer and I'll help you out. I'll hook you guys up for 30 bucks. You know, we can do a full hour photo shoot. Um, I do actually have a professional camera. I use a Canon Rebel T6. So shout out to Canon. Fucking love you guys' cameras. But, you know, we can do some stuff. Or if you want to purchase a beat for $10, I've got PayPal. I've got NetSpend. I can accept money through Facebook now. Hell, if you guys want to buy an art piece, 20 bucks for my actual high-end shit. 20 bucks, that's it. And we can do it either via PayPal or we can do it through Facebook. Either way. So hit me up and let me know, man. But with that being said, I'm actually going to get a hold of my boy Jeremy right here. But uh, with that being said, y'all, I do want to apologize for those of you that had to witness those people talking crap to me last night. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, hopefully those of you that didn't really understand at first, I hope you guys do understand a little bit more now about my situation. And actually get what it is that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And why it's so hard for me to get by making a living doing something I enjoy. But with that being said, like I said, I'm about to bounce up off here. Kick it with the homie Jeremiah on here. And I'll see you guys later, man. Peace. If it's now, actually. And thank you. Sorry, y'all. Had to get this in the end. So, peace.